I think he went to heaven. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know, every time a bank gets robbed and Angel earns his wings, something like that. How's it going guys? My name's... How's it going guys? Welcome to Graham Games. My name's Graham. These are games. I think I like that as an intro. I might might stick with that in the future. I am going to sit down and play a bunch of random Henry Stickman fan games specifically made in Scratch. You know, the online dev tool that lets you do just about anything, slapping things together like an animated MS Paint file. It's super limited. I'm not expecting any of these to be masterpieces. They're certainly not going to have the concepts, the animation, the detail, the voice acting, the everything that makes Henry Stickman Henry Stickman. Yet at the same time, the general format is so flexible and accessible that I'm still really curious to see the unique original ideas fans have come up with, even in this limited format. These Stickman Scratch games really started to catch on with Heyo Games surviving the snowstorm. I haven't played any of these, by the way, and this just seems like a good place to start. So this would be him walking around in the presumed dead ending then. He's got that scarf, but specifically the completing the mission retcon version of that wandering around in the snowstorm. We have a bit of like an interlude, which is actually a really interesting way to approach this, to set it within that game somewhere. This is detailed. They put a lot into that, including like actual animation as well as the sound effects to go along with it. We obviously have the teleporter, the return of the load save and the cheese and the bomb. We've seen all those before. There's the branch of getting the help from the top act clan or the government. I like the idea. <laughs> I like the way it's set up so it makes it look like he's wearing the top hat. Anything else would be new. So radio transmitter first. I, this actually has a lot more detail than I was expecting. That snowstorm is intense. So the transmitter is just immediately buried in the snow. Call in the top ats. No service. <laughs> I mean, that makes a lot of sense, I suppose. You're pretty far remote. Supposedly in Canada, it's unconfirmed if Puff was joking when he said that in his Discord. No, you can't just forget about Reginald and Charles. Haha, <laughs> phone go brr. <laughs> really leaning into the standard puff style of a reference fail text. Calling the government instead, trying to get help from them. Same thing. I feel like I'm not forgetting about them, right? I'm actively like trying to call them for help. That would be not forgetting them. Put on a warm jacket. <laughs> it's like the extra puffy sort of jacket that covers up your well thought out Halloween costume be hard to be Henry Stickman for Halloween. <laughs> that jumper is so warm that nothing could make you cold. I mean, still managed to freeze solid, but I guess we are warm within our block of ice. The cheese specifically does nothing in stealing the diamond. And so I'm assuming it's just going to be a nice tasty cheese again. It would be maybe a fun twist. Was that a Taco Bell ding? <laughs> I... W why? I think that's even the exact same fail text. Load save shouldn't work because you have to save the state in order for it to do anything in completing the mission. And so yeah, it just rewinds things back a few seconds the same way it would when you haven't successfully done the two-part option in completing the mission. The teleporter, part of me wanted to save it for the end, but I'm just scrubbing through these in order, so I might as well carry on with that. It just busted right up. Well, hopefully, you know, there's some sort of time warping going on. Hey, be grateful it's warmer there. That there would be some sort of, you know, time tomfoolery that repairs the teleporter. Although, if it's a fail, then, you know, I guess, I guess this one doesn't count. The funny thing is that in completing the mission with that one teleporter fail that really rapidly cycles through different locations, it mostly cycles through places Henry had specifically been. And one place it takes you is a volcano, which he had never been. So this is kind of a funny retcon. This could be like the other instance, the other previous time he had been to a volcano. Bomb, 
which specifically, I think there's three bombs in the entire series, all of which are fails. That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> That's like straight up like Acme Looney Tunes, right? A music box, which is, I don't think you have to do it quite that fast there, Henry. You can ease up a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to be a jack in the box. It's just music in the box. <laughs> okay, surprise. The sound effect, I think, is Henry yelling in one of the endings, maybe in like Master Bounty Hunter or something. I've been spending way too much time doing Henry Stickman content lately, if I can think that I recognize that. But the design of that is Puppet from FNAF, which is funny to have a, a different FNAF character jump scared than what was in Fleeing the Complex. Go deeper. Get that Inception started. We're at layer one now? It's not deep enough. We need deeper. <laughs> Pops you back out at the Breaking the Bank desert. The dedication to like the various camera angles and everything here is really impressive. <laughs> well, this time I think you're just gonna get left on the side of the road. Box transcender. Oh, okay, we even have the uh, the little bit of the music there as well. <laughs> okay, is that the singular successful option? Because that would be interesting if in this uh, creator's timeline or whatever you loop back to the start and that's how they maintain continuity a little bit another gift <laughs> okay cold-blooded get all the fails that present must hate you which means binoculars must also be a success oh yeah, that's just him spotting the outpost that we then start Open Observer, that we then start many of the, or any of the post-presumed dead. <laughs> Ending, ooh. Oh, which is funny, because they would have really specifically done that to make it look like the binoculars. That's well thought out. I enjoy that. He's got, like, the scrambly, cartoony, runny legs and a full-on arms-back anime run going on. I started with what I uh, am, have come to understand is probably... The most well thought out, most well made, most most animated, literally just most animated of any of these. And I'm kind of assuming the quality is going to step down dramatically after this. Mm, it looks like Heyo has their... They started with this. Before doing Surviving the Snowstorm, they had their own recreation of Crossing the Pit, which we eventually see a full remake of in completing the mission. But that's kind of like, I guess, a twist on it. This is more a true to spirit, original, original version remake. Although I would have liked to have seen uh, a story, I suppose, like a reason for it. Some like plot being added. <laughs> that was a very limited animation, very Looney Tunes. Hey, and the original one didn't have fail texts. You're a terrible jumper. So I guess there's something a little bit funny there where you could kind of uh, put your own spin on things by adding your own fail texts. Pole vaulting? <laughs> he didn't even try to stick it in. He just ran straight in. Do you even know how to pole vault? Clearly not. He just ran straight for it. For it. He, he's repeatedly using that same Henry yell. <laughs> the way he's sagged into there looks like the world's most comfortable beanbag chair. That is a really deep pit. Yeah, good question. And seemingly it just goes on infinitely. There's no, like, I don't know, it doesn't fade into the distance or anything. It's just this infinite gash straight through the entire center of the Earth. It looks like a little bit like a like a full-on Mario Kart car. <laughs> I think you're overshooting the distance a little bit. <laughs> you managed to crash it into the breaking the bank wall. Oh, so that's the tiny bit of a story and continuity that they put here, is that this is just Henry making his way to the bank, and for whatever reason, the bridge is out, and, you know, there's a big road over there that he gets run over, <laughs> or that they pick him up in the bag, but don't worry about that. There was a gap somewhere, a pit that needed crossing. This looks familiar, which Puff likes to do that now and again, return to the original scene, you know? I'm curious what, if any of these, counts as the success. I think they were all fails in the original. You know what they say. Hold on. It's a 
common simple phrase, yes. <laughs> I would suspect they would make the teleporter the success, but then that means that at that point, the success rate of the teleporter is something like 50-50, if, if not near that. Well, there goes your plank. I hope you had no deep attachments to that particular plank, because it is most certainly gone forever. Oh, <laughs> how unexpected. Who would have thought shooting yourself out of a canyon would be so deadly? This teleporter will transport you to any spot that you wish you could get to. Gadget Game 2007, which I think 2007 is actually back when Crossing the Pit was originally released. It's really a fun idea to tie Gadget Game back into that. I think generally that's all really well done. Time to rob a bank. <laughs> And there is the anime run. He's, he's really insistent on making it uh, like full continuity, the true prologue, making it the continuity of these games that Henry just exclusively anime runs. This would be the other one I see come up the most often. Cool B22 robbing the supermarket <laughs> here things are maybe a little bit jankier they maybe weren't all hand drawn the way we had just seen you know lower your expectations a little it's going to be more about the concepts one totally normal day so it's 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 just a regular day in the life for henry dramatically attending the grocery store where who knows what kind of insanity might unfold well, you know what? Now I'm a little bit scared of it. I don't think I will go. I'm going to go back into this deserted, abandoned corner. <laughs> the... Gotta get up there. Why are you so committed to that? But there's something about his particular, like, derpified face that didn't quite come out right. That's, like, just kind of extra comical. The trambling. Trambambopoline. Trambambambaline. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the type of animations I was fully expecting to see. I honestly thought, because this is my first introduction to Scratch, I thought that sort of like animated in PowerPoint sort of tweening thing would be the only sort of animation you could do in Scratch. Did you really think that would work? I'm kind of curious if maybe every single one of these is just going to have a very similar fail text. I also assume the, the Scratch has a lot of built-in sound effects, maybe, that people are commonly making use of. I genuinely cannot believe that worked. I mean, I suppose you might float away forever. No, we're going full-on Mission Impossible all of a sudden. Why? All of this was a round out, roundabout way of still getting to the supermarket? I would have never suspected. I, I guess we are trying to rob it. We aren't just we aren't just grocery shopping. We could use the force. Bust out a full on nope, not actually a lightsaber. That was just a representation. <laughs> he just crumpled the entire register. The magnet. Easy. That's just that's just good thinking, you know? <laughs> Henry's not usually such a jerk, is he? Rubbing it in people's faces when he successfully robs them? Hey! That was it, the sneaky ending, where we openly in front of everyone and we're just like very visibly caught, yet somehow, you know, we're considering that sneaky. I figured uh, I would see the outro, see what that was about. Now I think I have to restart things. Just, I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, it gets me every time because there's no rotation or anything. It's just one way than the other. And it's just kind of, I, I can't even define Oh, okay, wigs. Like, we obviously know they won't work now. <laughs> it's also weird to attach them to, like, your, like, below the rib cage, you know? Midway on the torso, not up on the shoulder blades or anything. Not in the, what are they, the copular muscles? I think you went to heaven. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know, every time a bank gets robbed and Angel earns his wings, something like that. This uh, gravity gun scene does take rather long. <laughs> Gadget Gabe is reviewing the wrong things here. If this if this were accessible to you, because it, it, it came back down. That never happens. Hypnotize. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit of animation. They really draw you in. Even I feel like I can't avert my gaze. 
Like, what truly happened there? Nice try, bro. Was it, though? I can't know. I don't really know if much of anything happened. It also kind of seems like Henry's doing that core strength thing where you, like, push and pull simultaneously on a flagpole to make yourself perpendicular to it. It's great core strength. Very acrobatic. This time we'll just go straight on. This will be the action-packed version, like the equivalent of, of stealing the diamond where you bust in on the scooter. Is that what we're gonna have here? Some scooter action? Seemingly Henry's just beating up legitimately everyone on his way to here, and is damn proud of it. He's very happy with his life choices. Is this an entire fail? Okay, I thought that whole thing was somehow going to be a fail. Ah, the distraction. Just gift gifting her a flower? Smooth. Smooth going, Henry. I don't know, man. I think you might get shut down. It's a little too forward, perhaps. She's not having it. Not a fan. Heartbroken. <laughs> it's kind of funny to have an entire game that, like, you know... Puffballs in series chains together references just continuously. This is chaining together like memeified songs and, and sound effects and things. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, play the best song she's ever heard. Sw swoon her with rock and roll and she will never be able to say no. That just means she really, really loved it. Couldn't bear it. Her heart was breaking with love and affection. Oh, I guess that kind of worked. I guess now you have free access to the register. <laughs> I mean, you're stealing money from a singular register of a superstore. Henry might have a legitimate, like, addiction problem here. He stole, like, a hundred million dollar diamond, and then he stole, like, 80 bucks from a register? You're just, that, that's like, not kleptomania, that's, if there's something else there, that's a, a, a serious problem that you may need to overcome. We'll use Charles! Alright, here I come! <laughs> pretty easy to guess where that would be going. Does he not see the glass? Oh, he crashed, he crashed full on. Speed! Well, that's just damaging to the ears. I really personally dislike the meme of really loud distorted music is funny. It just kind of sounds horrible. It's almost funny. But what's funnier is well con home. <laughs> you managed to run your way into jail, I think. And just the typo. Cops eating donuts. How could he possibly say no? And now we're rich. Richer than we've ever been. You know, it might be a drop in the bucket compared to our prior wealth. But, you know, it's still, still the richest we had been. Technically richer. The bust ending. I was covering all the fails. We've been pretty dedicated. I, I figured I, I truly have to go back and, and do the distraction, which obviously people have like green screened and you can have the full original animation properly in. That never works. Distraction never works the disruption uh what is the other dance that him and ellie do together in completing the mission that's where it's at distractions old news it's outdated people can see that one coming a mile away the old distraction never works the next one i'm pulling up is the prologue locating the emerald from shiny may which I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that they seem to be tackling their own series here. This is the prologue. They have their own episode one and episode two. And I just thought that was very ambitious. There's no animations in this one. I do. This one was definitely shared in uh, the Discord for the channel. I was pretty sure that was this one. And I kind of wanted to make sure I included it somewhere in the video. Just someone who hangs out in the Discord. Just make, working on fan games. Good for them. Fail! You forgot you can't swim again, didn't you? So no animations, really. Just kind of silly concepts and fail texts. The teleporter, you know, I really thought that would work. Instead, we could try to simply boat across? Hey, that's the success. Light the matches. Maybe lighting a match next to a fuse wasn't a bright idea. Well, I'd have to know that there was a fuse there, you know? Headlamp, 
we have an Enderman. We're starting to get some legit references folded in here. Very true to Henry Stickman form. The staring contest with an Enderman. Staring directly at it is never a good idea. Oh yeah, that does immediately result in it killing you, doesn't it? You could mine it. It's how things always go in Minecraft. Never dig straight down, which I guess that's referencing breaking the bank. And do you know what breaking the bank is referencing? Minecraft. That's like a that's like a common Minecraft Minecraft rule. We have our own version of distract. You're not right, Henry. Up here, it's not it's not correct. Fight it. Wow, that was actually definitely not the one I would have guessed would have worked. Try nitro chewloween. Is that what TNT is? I actually never knew. Maybe blowing up the emerald wasn't a good idea after all. It's funny. I guess we're providing a, a backstory for where the emerald came from. The Tunisian diamond was already mined and existed in a, in a museum. Here, this one was buried under the earth. Someone had to go dig it up. You forgot to refuel that again, didn't you? I was <laughs> so just realizing this drill, rather than having a conical drill at the end, it just kind of has a spring at the end. It's not, not how I'm used to seeing drills work. Busting out the pickaxe. Again, you win! Congratulations, player! You have successfully located the emerald. You have completed the prologue to the Nathan Redmond series of games. Oh, so is this Nathan Redmond instead of Henry Stickman? Is that that's what we're going with with this series? I figure I'll fire it back up, catch the few other little branches we would have missed. I think I saw the top comment on this was the sponge is an inside joke with the creator and their friends. Well, what did you think was going to happen? I thought I would soak up all the water, and then I'd have a fun little spongy, sloppy thing to walk across, and it would be squishy on your feet, and it would feel real nice. Lava bucket. You can't even fat. I can't even fathom how you could manage to hold a bucket of molten lava without getting third degree burns. Or if the bucket would, you know, not melt? That's a, that's a question I similarly have. The lava bucket again. Why do you even have that bucket? I do like running gags, even on a small scale like this, of just continually trying to use that. It's a versatile item. It could work in any, any scenario. The glow fish. Why exactly did people vote for this thing again? I wonder if that's a vote within this Scratch game, or if that's a reference to something larger that I'm unfamiliar with. Like if this user had a, a, I don't know if you can have like blogs or polls on Scratch or if that would have had to been on Twitter or something. I legitimately don't know. I believe there was one other at least. Kung Fu. Ba -ba. What exactly was your plan there? So a few of the fails just kind of have the same sort of generic text to go along with it. And there, we can mine it out. We're successful. We're great. Hooray. So I very specifically had a few in mind that I was interested in checking out, ones that were specifically popular uh, or, or notably well made and of like just higher quality and like extra animation and everything. I'd seen that shared on YouTube elsewhere. Other ones that are just seemingly a little bit extra popular. And then that one that I recognized from, from our Discord. And from there, there's like a thousand, and I don't even think all of them are games. I don't really understand how Scratch works, because it seems like there's no discernment between things that like appear to be an actual game versus ones that are just like, I don't know, kind of a clipping of different game assets. So I don't really know how to navigate this. If people are aware of other well-made, whether it's just fun, interesting fails and concepts rather than legit full-on animations, then share those around and perhaps we do a part two of a video like this. I'll keep an eye out for other fan games elsewhere online. We still know that Attacking the Tower and Crashing the Casino are in the works, two very full-on uh, Henry Stickman fan games with like voice acting and animation and everything, so I'll definitely get around to those when they're available. Yeah, I just thought it would be a fun way to, to mess around with this and kind of visit some of what the fan community had going on. So yeah, recommend some more if you know of them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.